Gift of Stalos Ziba, the CCC deputy spokesperson emphasized that the party will use non-violent means to gain state power. He urged young people to avoid participating in a violent revolution and criticized Jonathan Moore for a negative comment. The revolution, according to Ziziba, is a local struggle led by CCC. Our other party is saying Chamisa has, has no plan. Let me tell you, this is struggle. When we were persecuting this struggle for 20 years, we know the enemy that we, that we are dealing with. They wanted us to be in the streets cause violence so that they would arrest the leader of the revolution. We know their behavior because I say to you fellow young people, our method of struggle is the ballot. There are those who want to, there are those who want a violent revolution. They have right to define their struggle, define their methods. Our method is CCC is the non-violent national democratic revolution to the power of, of the ballot. Now our friend we grew up with in Cholocho, Jonathan Moore, he says to us, CCC is weak and so forth he is speaking in kenya this struggle is local the revolution is local the revolution is not being televised from nairobi the revolution is here we are here leading it here he also expressed the confidence in the party's victory in the upcoming elections and highlighted that the party achieved a whitewash despite facing several challenges we hear them saying ccc is not going to win let me tell you there was a survey by research institutions they predicted the shamisa victory Chamisa victory, military survey, Chamisa victory. They know that when it comes to the election, no one in the body politics of this country can defeat advocate Nelson Chamisa. Sisiba pointed out that despite CCC facing several challenges, including losing their headquarters and members of parliament, they emerged victorious in the March 26, 22 by election, which he attributed to the nature of the democratic revolution as a revolution of culture. The party has not yet announced its election candidates.